Vader, 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 it's a graphic novel I recently read. And of course it collects uh, issues number one through five. But pretty much like for me, like I noticed that it's just like a collection of short stories all involving Darth Vader. <laughs> and of course, obviously in graphic novel form. Um, but at the same time, I feel like even if it wasn't in graphic novel form, it would still have the same impact, I guess, well, to me. <laughs> um, and it definitely, it, it show, definitely shows, like, for me, like, it showed, like, a more well-rounded Darth Vader uh, you know, because obviously in the movies, he just, I don't know, at least for me, like, I i feel like in the movies, he, Darth Vader came off as more of a, uh, um, like, one-sided character, you know. Because everybody knows, yes, he's the bad guy, he's part of the Sith, he's a Sith Lord and all that, and he's this badass, and, <laughs> um... But in this graphic novel, like, there's, uh, not too many, but there's, like, at least a couple, couple of sections where it, like, paints Darth Vader in a different light. Uh, most notably, like, the first part where it shows, um, Darth Vader kind of, like, lands or crash lands, actually, on, uh, some planet, which I guess is supposed to be like in in the furthest reaches of the galaxy, and furthest, farthest, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so he lands, crash lands on this like small planet, and which there are people living on it, but they're all like afraid to come to the surface. Like for the most part, they. They're pretty much subterranean, I guess you could say. Although, although they're not like they're not mole people or anything like that. Or, but they're afraid to come to the surface of the planet because there's this huge, like, weird creature that occupies most of the surface. And, and because Darth Vader, like, one day he crash lands on this planet. Not, of course, not intentionally, like completely, like, involuntarily, <laughs> and um, I won't give that away. But yeah, he just crash lands down there, and then he finds himself face to face with this weird creature, and and he does battle. He fights with this creature, and, and yeah, ultimately wins. So you know. Spoiler or not spoiler, but you know, I mean, come on, it's like Darth Vader, you know, Darth Vader, Sith Lord, you know, versus this huge ass creature. I mean, come on, obviously Darth Vader's gonna win, hands down, no matter what. Like, <laughs> so because of that, like. uh uh, most of the people on this planet, especially the 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 young kids on this planet, they end up uh, hailing Darth Vader as this black knight, this you know hero and whatnot, and so. But you know, yeah, because for them, you know, they were terrorized for many, many, many years by this huge creature and uh, you know and all of a sudden one day Darth Vader shows up and kills that creature and you know so yeah obviously they're gonna hail Darth Vader as, 
as a hero. So, yeah. But of course, after that, you know, Darth Vader, he, it disappears from that planet. Um, but it's definitely interesting. I mean, because, like, for me, like, it, it definitely made me wonder, like, if people on that uh, particular planet, if they're, you know, no doubt they might actually, you know, they'll pass on the legend of this Black Knight and, uh, you know, like keep that story alive and all that. And I mean, if nothing else, like it, it got me thinking. Got me thinking also about like how many like stories like have I been told or like am I familiar with in which um, people were hailed as heroes and and not only that, but like how many of those uh, stories uh, were just complete fabrications, like were just completely made up and. Yeah, I don't know, but that's just me. Like, uh, as far as the other parts of this graphic novel, um, they were all pretty much just you know, pretty much what I expected. <laughs> like there was one part where uh, I liked. There was this young woman who she becomes infatuated with Darth Vader, and she actually. Uh, believes that he is interested in her romantically, and uh, of course, I, I don't want to give give anything away, you know. But um, she quickly finds out. I, I will say, <laughs> she quickly finds out that, uh, yeah, Darth Vader is not. Romantically interested in anybody, really. So, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. But, uh, and then the rest of the rest of the graph novel is just, like I said, classic Darth Vader. You know, hands down, just brutal, savage, and just, like it really depicts just exactly how. Brutal Darth Vader can be, maybe not like a hundred percent how brutal he can be, but definitely like uh, getting getting up there, getting definitely up there, and <laughs> which is like yeah, hey, he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy, no matter what you know. You know, it might be you know like part of the natural human inclination or whatever. <laughs> Where we like to believe that every single person has a good side, uh, but it's not the case with Darth Vader. Like, it's, I mean, granted, yeah, it, it, growing up, you know, he definitely had a good side to him, but once he turned to the dark side, that was it. He never bothered to look back. At least, you know, for the most part. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's... Honestly, it was pretty much, it was like really... Definitely spot on, spot on what I expected from a graphic novel about Darth Vader. So, <laughs> I, I got no complaints about it. It's, yeah... I wasn't expecting like Darth Vader to all of a sudden become a good guy, or you know, or see the errors of his ways, or whatever. And so, yeah. Ultimately, uh, as far as the rating goes, I would give it um, definitely got to give at the very least four and a half out of five stars. So, yeah. My only complaint is that like I felt like it. It kind of ended a little too soon, like I'm, you know, <laughs> which I guess uh, really, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a complaint. But 
Yeah. So yeah, that, that'll do it for my review of this graphic novel, uh, of Vader Dark Visions. Once again, I give it four, four and a half out of five stars. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, next time, don't forget to keep it real. Keep on rocking and peace.